Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are back playing Pokemon at this gym of mine. You guys wanted to see me come back and beat this game so that's exactly what we're doing. So I reloaded my previous save just before we lost to Edgar, went back to the town and started grinding up my team. The reason I lost the battle against Edgar was because half my team were level 30s and 40s and I also didn't have any healing items during the battle. So it didn't really help me out. So of course going back to Bliss and taking on her team of 6 Blissies was what I had to do and that's exactly what I did. Trying to get Dragonair to become a Dragonite, etc. I then went and caught myself a Jangma Woe because I realized I didn't have any fighting types. He also has a Metagross and an Aggron, two Pokemon that kind of destroyed me in the original battle. So having a fighting type Pokemon for those two would have been really, really beneficial. So I went and caught one. It actually took me ages to find this thing as well. Uh, I don't know what the kind of spawn rate of Jangma Woe is in the Dragon Cave, uh, but either way, we finally find one. It's a pesky little critter as well. It did not want to stay in that Pokeball, but luckily I finally got it and I've added a new Pokemon to my team. I decided to get rid of, rid of Drompa as well because it wasn't really offering much uh, and it was also only level 30. I couldn't really be bothered to grind it. On the way out of the cave though, I also found a level 50 Drompa though, so I thought I'd just catch it just in case because it could have been a little bit useful regardless if one of my Pokemon turned out to be not very good um, or whatever. It would have been nice just to have an extra level 50 Drompa in the PC if worse comes to worse. So anyway, my team's all sorted and I now have to go carry on with my daily kind of things, giving potions to the uh, the people that are in need and stuff, giving it to charity. And also, they're like, yo, you've donated quite a bit here. Here's an extra bit of reputation. So I was like, oh, sweet. My, my actual charitable deeds have actually started paying off. I then decide to get rid of my Drampa, put Jangmoo in my team because obviously I want it, and then go back to Bliss to grind it up because I need to get that Kamoo because Jangmoo isn't really going to be doing much things in my team really let's be honest it needs a little bit of xp luckily it doesn't evolve too late i think it actually evolves into come out like level 45 and we're already level 50 so i only have to level this up twice to get the final evolution so that's exactly what i do i get it up a few more levels because obviously there's six blissey but either way jangmoo starts to evolve into the evolution uh hakamo and then after that i can just grind up a little bit more and finally get my jangmoo because again that's what the doctor ordered that is what i need in my team especially because it's going to learn like clanging scales and stuff like that which is always very useful so again we start taking on more blissies i'm also leveling up my other mons whilst doing this as well i'm trying to get everyone to like mid 50s or you know low 60s or something just so i can definitely beat edgar this time um because i don't want to i don't want a retelling of what happened at the end of the last video i do not want to lose to this guy again he made me look silly i'm not dealing with it so then Hakamo starts to evolve into Jangmoo, who of course is then going to learn Clanging Scales. It's just a really good mon to have. And this guy, throughout the end of this video, is just like my knight in shining armor. This thing is such a good Pokemon, and it's just so useful to have. Like, it really, it saves me so many times as well. But anyway, it's trying to learn Clanging Scales. Um, so I kind of want that because it's decent. It's better than Outrage, so I don't cause confusion and stuff. Uh, so it's just really nice to have. After this, I head over to the big department store just to see if I can buy any good TMs for my team because they actually sell some really good items in this place. They sell U-Turn, Weather Ball, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, all that stuff. There's not really anything that's tickling my fancy though. I've got 7k as well, so I'm nowhere near the 50 grand total that I need to spend on some of these TMs. So I go back down to the first floor and actually buy some leftovers because leftovers are so, so useful in this game like ridiculous i can't get over how useful leftovers are like they're good anyway in pokemon but in this game they're just so so useful buy a ton of revives ton of hyper potions and stuff just so i'm ready to take on edgar this time because again i don't want to lose after this, I then go and try and find him again. I actually forgot where he is. Uh, I had to actually watch a YouTube video and how I got there last time and stuff. But anyway, we get back to Edgar, and this time it is round two. I'm not losing to this guy uh, this time uh, because, again, he made me look silly in the first video, and I don't want that happening at all. So obviously, he's just talking about how, you know, the loser goes and the winner stays or whatever. We saw what happened when we lost because I did, and it basically is just a game over. But luckily, if you'd saved before that, it just sends you back to that save. It doesn't, like, delete your account or anything like that that anyway he leads with this agron who goes for an ice cool crash which i forgot that it had after setting up a dragon dance but as you can see the leftovers are already helping me out a little bit he's going for iron heads and stuff as well and i'm always a, not a massive fan of flinching and stuff but luckily because of the dragon dance i will be out speeding so he can't actually flinch me and then hyper potion up just to get a little bit uh, of hp back and just so i can easily sweep this dude with like my plus two plus three whatever 
uh, combo where he obviously has um, some pretty nice moves on him as well. So I'm hoping to just sweep this guy. I'm pretty high leveled as well compared to him. Like I'm level 56, he's level 45. And Agron is like the worst thing on his team. But he is still doing a ton of damage to me as you can see. So I'm not in a great situation there. I don't have a ton of potions as well because I didn't have a lot of money. I don't have anything to sell. Like all of my money in the last episode just went into buildings. And that's why I didn't have any money. Luckily though, I'm at like plus 3, plus 4. I don't know how he survived on 1 there. Like at all like that definitely should have killed i don't know if it was like a glitch sturdy or something uh, but either way we take out the agron he then sends uh, sends in the salamence which again it has intimidate but i'm still like plus two plus three is no problem i just dragon claw that it's a lot easier this time once i've come prepared because this guy he, 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 i've been having nightmares about him throughout the whole of the last episode he then sends out tyranitar uh, but luckily because i'm a fighting type i'm not really worried about this at all plus i'm rocking close combat absolutely destroy that thing with a close combat it's stab i'm 11 levels above it 12 levels above it whatever this thing is not surviving a close combat he then sends out the metagross which again would have been a problem in the last episode but this time i can just close combat destroy it ain't living on one or anything like that no glitching sturdies here we are winning this battle against edgar the sandstorm's still raging in the background but for whatever reason it just doesn't affect my team i think it's just a little bit of a glitch or something he then sends in hydreigon i kill that with a dragon claw and then last but not least he does have a uh, guard champ, which again isn't a problem really uh unless rng has something to say about it i miss my dragon claw and because i'm like minus three on close combat his dragon claw does kill me which is a little bit unfortunate um he must have the uh what is it like the sand veil ability or something which basically boosts his um evasiveness in sand so i don't know how unlucky i was to miss that dragon claw but either way i send in my own garchomp dragon claw away and i finally beat edgar something that should have happened in the end of the last episode my reputation goes up by 50 and he's saying he's a man of his word and then he just dips and I was elevated to gym leader rank 4. So it's not actually the end of the game when you beat Edgar, which I thought it would be. So we then go back to the gym and start doing our normal daily uh, battles in the gym. And just giving the potions to the, 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 the charity and stuff and all that. And obviously level 70 Tyranitar's back. This thing was always a problem in the original uh, video. So he's just thrashing left, right and center. But luckily my team is a higher level now. So even though he does destroy my Garchomp... Um, I can just come then in with Komowo and just close combat it. This was literally my kind of uh, just tactic every time I took out the Tyranitar. I would just bulldoze it a few times with Garchomp to lower its speed. And then I would just bring in my uh, Komowo and just close combat it. I actually I accidentally went into Haxorus though instead of Komowo. Because they kind of look the same with their sprites. And so I, I made a bit of a wrong decision here. So I thought I was actually going to lose this battle. Because obviously he full restored and he was back up to like full HP. And again, he was still thrashing and like one shot in my team and stuff. We're getting a few dragon claws off though, which is quite nice. He does take out the Haxorus though. I know I'll outspeed because of the bulldoze. So I do just come back in with Kamawo. I can just close combat it. It's not a problem. Um, and then we finally beat this level 70. A lot easier than the first time because I had to kind of not necessarily glitch it, but I had to use my uh, Dreepy, which was ghost type to beat it with infestation. <laughs> so it was a lot easier this time. And also it gives you a, a thousand reputation every time you beat him as well. So anyway, that's another day of gym and done. And then the actual gym guy asks me to do a quest. Uh, and obviously it will like end the day if I, if I do it. So I go and have to find this like uh, icy stone or cold rock or whatever. I can't, yeah, the icy rock. There we go. Third time lucky in the cold steel cavern. And I'm like, bro, where the hell is that? I have no idea where this old icy cavern is but he wants me to find this rock or something uh, luckily it teleports me right there though and then i i don't have any repels so i'm literally getting into a wild battle every two seconds it's so annoying i find the icy rock though and then it teleports me back which is really really useful uh, and then he's just explaining why he wants it basically he's got like a niece who's also wanting to be like a gym guide or some sort of gym leader or something and uh, she basically needs this icy rock for her team he gives me a big nugget though which i'm very very happy about and my reputation goes up by 500 so i'm like bro i must be really close to the next gym leader rank now because i've just had a thousand from the hiker 500 from that dude i must be chilling but anyway with the big nugget i now have a little bit more spending money so i go back and buy some more buildings i've got 30 grand in the bank which is really really nice and the good thing about this game is every single time you like go through a day all your buildings carry on making you money so it's better to have more buildings because the more, more the more buildings you have the more money you make and obviously some of these things in this game are really really expensive so anyway i buy a few more buildings i then go and place them all i think i've nearly completed the original town at this point i'm also asking this guy like what he 
kind of recommends to put in the in the town and stuff but i'm just putting my buildings everywhere um, which is obviously just making me more and more money i then save the game uh, I'm on three hours game time here as well. I don't know how. Um, it's only been that like little. I feel like I've been playing this for so long. Anyway, head back down. Do my daily potion giving because, you know, I'm a nice guy and also it's giving me reputation. Um, I figured out later on as well that they literally accept a potion, a super potion, and a hyper potion every single time. So later on in the video, I literally just go and spend a ton of money on potions and just donate like a ton of potions. Because you can do daily every... Like you can do it more than once every single day, which I didn't realize. I thought you could only do it once a day, but you can just do it so many times. Anyway, back into the gym and my best mate the hiker with his level 70 trenitar is back i have to fight this guy every single day this time though it's level 99 and i'm like wait what like how do you even beat this thing so i'm thinking okay my tactic might work here again if i just keep bulldozing this thing and then close combat um, luckily he's getting through his full restores pretty early on that isn't the case though he absolutely destroys my team i come in with como o hoping that i can get a close combat off and kill i go for the cc and it survives on one like probably like 15 hp or something stone edges me kills me because of the close combat defense drop and i'm like right dragon i can't come in here and win unfortunately so i actually lose my first ever gym battle in the gym like i don't know like 140 days in i thought i had a pretty good run and i was worrying to myself i was like wait does this mean that i lose the whole thing i give him 2700 and then he walks off with his gym badge and all that happens is my reputation goes down by 10 so that's not really that bad lo and behold edgar actually comes into the gym next and you actually have to fight edgar's team they're higher leveled now um, but his whole six Pokemon are in this fight and they're all stronger and more difficult. So I was a little bit worried about this fight as well because I hadn't become prepared for the second battle with this guy. I, I struggled on the first one originally, um, so I was a little bit worried about this. I do get through the battle though because I can just like bring in my team. Like They are high level now as well and Kamawo can just take them all out again, which is really, really useful. So we beat Edgar and then after that we go back to the gym guy. He's just saying, you know, the, the trainers want to train again, so that's all good. Get some respect up. I then go and buy some more buildings because I'm very close to finishing the original town. I've got 16 grand in the bank, so I decided to build uh, building plans one, which is obviously, uh, I don't even know how much it makes you every single day, but it adds, it all adds up, you know, and it's just very, very useful. And I think this might actually be the last building that I need. No, there's actually a couple more spots. Um, there's actually just the whole bottom row that I still need to finish. But I do eventually finish all of it. And I'm making like bank every single day. It's actually a bit ridiculous. After this though, after the destroying of that Tyranitar, um, my whole team, I have to go back and grind up a little bit. Um, so Draclote needs to evolve and also Dragonair needs to evolve as well. So I spend the next couple of days just grinding these guys up and finally getting my level 60 and my level 55. Because Draclote was so difficult to grind because it had the worst moves. And also, um, it had to evolve at level 60. So it just wasn't really fun at all. And it did take a little bit of time, which was a bit annoying. Because the Blissies don't go up higher in level as well. They just stay at 50. So once you get past 50, it just becomes a bit of a tedious grind. But anyway, I level up my Draclote. And it's finally evolving into Dragapult. Which I absolutely love, by the way. Dragapult is one of my favorite pseudo-legendaries. So useful having a Ghost type on the team as well. Uh, as we saw in the last video against the Tyranitar. But unfortunately, the level 99 Tyranitar can hit you. Which is a bit unfortunate. Dragon then starts evolving into Dragonite and it's nice to have another flight well it's nice to have a flying type on my team I'm just trying to get like secondary typings that are useful I've now got fighting ghost flying ground steel so I've got quite a few different typings which are really really nice after this though I spend a couple of days away from the gym and just explore the town and I remember that there's this like riddle cave that I did in the original video um, where that guy like joined my gym but there's a few riddles that I still needed to do so I'll go around and basically just finish all of these there's like 18 signposts in this place um, but I noticed that there's like a cave exit at the left hand side and I'm hoping that once I do all the riddles that it gives me um the, the option to go in. I also find the Poke Flute as well, which somebody was looking for. And it does actually open up the cave, so I can leave here, and then I just explore down, and there's just one singular house. I'm thinking to myself that I'm going to get something good here. She's saying she doesn't get that many visitors, but she can give me a Pokemon um, that has like an, an interesting skill. And then she asks me a couple of questions. She says one, two, or three, and then a nice warm fire and stuff. And then she gives me a Charmander. So I think she would have given me one of the original Gen 3, Gen 2, or Gen 1 starters, depending on what like I picked. But Charmander is useful anyway, because it couldn't learn Dragon Claw. So it's actually a mon that I can bring into my team. Uh, after that, though, I build another building and go back to the gym and take on some more trainers which again get even worse now they're actually a higher level I, I can't even remember what gym rank i am i'm either like four or five or whatever but either way they're getting stronger and stronger especially with these ice types this ice type guy was horrible because i've got like two three pokemon that are quad weak to ice 
And so I was just getting destroyed every time I fight this guy. Uh, luckily, I'm a little bit higher level than him, so I can bring in my team and outspeed him. Uh, but, you know, the amount of trainers that have full restores, and they use literally, like, four every single fight. Like, the, the gym battles actually get really, really tedious as you get through this game. Like, as you're just waiting for the next part of the story to kind of happen... Um, you are literally just fighting the same gym trainers every single day. Um, and, and it's just kind of the same thing that's happening every single day. I then check my money. I've got 32k. So I know now that I can finish off the original town. And I'm thinking to myself, if I build a building in this original town in every single spot, surely something's going to happen. And so I decide to buy a couple of building plans, building one and building three. And then I go and put them up into, um, into the town, which again is just giving me more moolah anyway. Um, but I finish this one down here. I make it all look nice and fancy as well, all color coordinated and stuff, you know, how you do it. Um, so I put two brown buildings on the left and two like grayish green buildings on the right. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. I want people to feel a little bit better when they come into my town. After that, though, it says like I've got to finish the day. So I'm just licking my lips at the idea that I'm actually going to progress in this game. But then nothing else happens. I'm back up to 20. 29k which was quite nice um, but after that I decided to just buy some more buildings because I feel like I must have to complete all of the different kind of building slots and there's a ton in the the town like above in like the extra bit where the mall is and um, everything like that so I decided to buy a couple more buildings and put them down and obviously you've got the guy on the left that's telling you like what building to buy and stuff um, but he's basically always off he's, he's, he's always telling you to buy the most expensive one I'm like bro I don't have that kind of money um, so I, I can't be buying 25k buildings every single time. Um, but anyway, I put down the Neo building here, which is, again, looking the exact same as the museum and everything else. Uh, and then I just talked to some more people just to see if there's any more quests and stuff. Because I think to myself, like, if it's not the buildings that's going to make me progress in the game, I must, I must just need reputation. Even though, with all the battles that I've been doing at the gym, my reputation has been flying through the roof. So I don't know how much reputation I need to go from gym leader, gym leader rank 4 to gym leader rank 5. But either way... Edgar's back in town. I'm like, oh, God, not this guy again. Luckily, uh, I can easily take him out now, though. I mean, my team's getting stronger and stronger. Uh, I forgot to... I accidentally put Dragonite at the front of my team again, though, for this Aggron, which is a bit annoying because uh, Dragon Claw does so much damage to me. Like, this Aggron is one of the best Pokemon in this game. Like, I've got one on my team, and I know how good it is. It is such a good Mon, and it's got the Steel typing as well, which is even better. I don't know how it learned Ice School Crash, though, because I had an Aron all the way from, like, level 20 to an Aggron all the way to level 60, and it just doesn't learn Ice School Crash. So it must have been, like, a TM or something, which I also could not find. And I really wanted Ice School Crash on my Aggron, just in case I ever come up against Dragons and stuff. But either way, I take out Edgar and spend another couple days in the gym, just making a little bit more money and stuff, just so I can buy some more buildings. Straight back to the building manager. Again, buying some more plans. 44k I've got this time. I decide to buy uh, a couple of 10k uh, plans. And also buy like a 25k plan as well. Just because I think if I get one of extra, every single building as well, that's also going to help me. Um, but yeah, I mean, the money that I put into the buildings, I'm going to get back and more so anyway. So it's just useful to have. There's not really much more things I can buy with my money anyway. Like there's a the TMs and stuff, but there's not really any decent TMs. And um, there's nothing else that I can really find that's worth spending money on. Um, so it's not really like something I need to save up a ton and I want to build all the buildings anyway and just make my town complete regardless I then go and talk to this guy and he's just you know letting me know what I should buy a regular building or a museum I'm like ugh, fine go back to the gym though another day of just fighting gym trainers uh, I can't remember if I battled this girl before but she sends out a Lucario. It's a, it's a nice little change of pace to the Glalies and the Edgars and the Tyranitars I'm taking on. Um, but yeah, this this uh, Lucario was a trainer was a pretty cool trainer. But uh, either way, it's just nice to have a different trainer for once because, again, you're always just battling the exact same people. But she seems to be like a Steel-type trainer. She has a Deblade. She has a Lucario. Uh, she, well, she also has a, a couple other cool Pokemon as well. But either way, I just finished the day and just do more gym training and stuff you know just just doing the, the just doing the job just doing the job description you know someone's got to do it and that guy's me you know i signed the contract she has a hair across kill that with dragon claw no problems at all straight back to building guy after i've made some more money because i'm just making money from the guy like the people that i'm beating every single day and as you can see my money is just improving it's gone up to 87 grand now and with that kind of money i can buy quite a few buildings and i think to myself do i buy like a bunch of 10k buildings and just fill the whole town up or do i buy a few 25k ones as well i'm just kind of umming and ahhing about what to do um, but I, d I decided to buy two of the building plans uh number one just so i can decide what i actually um, um need because the guy told me to buy regular buildings so that's exactly what i go and do i decided to put them up here as well as you can see there's just more and more buildings that are just being placed in this place um, and again, it's looking nice with that one. And then go over here, make the whole middle row this kind of like greenish, grayish, turquoise color buildings. The whole ray, the whole row there is just that color. And then I go up to the guy again. I'm like, all right, what do I want now? Because I've just bought the regular buildings. And now he's telling me to buy a neo building and a factory building again. And I'm just like, 
the guy's glitched. The guy isn't actually telling me anything. I was hoping that he'd be like, oh, everything's fine now. You're all sorted. But now he's going back to telling me what I originally needed. So I've still got 67k, so I can go and buy like museums and neo buildings and stuff. Museums only 10k, which is pretty cheap for a museum, in my personal opinion. And then also buy the neo building as well. And then also the other expensive building. I'm like, all right, I've just spent a ton of money on buildings. Surely this guy is going to be happy with me now. And I need to go place them down and stuff. And I think this might be... Is this the... No, there's still another row below this. But either way, I need to put these buildings down. After this, there's only three extra spaces that I, that I can fill buildings with. So there's not like a ton of uh, extra locations. And I'm thinking to myself, all I have to do is get through a couple more days at the gym. And then I can finish all the buildings off. And then finally, that should progress the story. So I just put all these buildings down. Uh, wake up with more money every single day. Edgar's also still here in the town, by the way. He's just chilling. I don't know what he's doing. He's just Every time he talks to him, he's like, hey. So after that, I go back to the uh, the gym and decide to get some more money uh, and obviously get my reputation up. Because this whole time, I'm also still getting my reputation up as well. Um, and again, Glalie's back on the menu, apparently. So I have to take this out, which is really, really annoying. But either way, I've made more money. So straight back to the building guy. Uh, and I've got 34k. And so I can buy a building plan 6 for 10k. And then I can put that down on the last row. And then I've got two more spaces, which I think to myself is probably best off if I just buy like two 25k buildings. And that's just like another day of um, uh, kind of gymming and stuff and all that. Because I'm going to get more money uh, from the buildings and from the gym trainers and stuff. So I put that down. I then decide to um, actually play again at night just to see if anything changes. I also decide to put Charmander in my team as well. Just because it has Dragon Claw. And so I can actually put it and use it on my team. And also it has Flamethrower and it would be nice to have a fire type. Um, and I just also wanted to see if, like, the next event would happen at night. Um, I've got the city donation team also wanting to join the gym now because I've donated so many potions. Like, generally think I've probably donated about 300 potions to these people. And so, um, after that, I have a look at my money and I've got 687,000. I'm like, bro, where did this money come from? Like, I didn't hack this or anything. I don't know what happened. I literally just turned the game off, turned it back on. Did like a day at the gym and, and also grinded up my Charmander um, to a Charizard level 65. I decided to do that off screen because nobody really wants to see me grinding Charmander over and over and over again. And then I literally looked at my money and I had 600k. So I've got enough money to finish off the buildings there. And I finally think to myself, okay, that's it. That's the game completed. You know, I beat Edgar. Um, I'm running the gym successfully. I've finished all the town now. Everything's got a potential building that can be there. And nothing happens. And I'm like, what? So then I go over and start talking to everybody, like, what do I do? And I find this woman here, and she's talking about vacation days. I didn't realize I could go on vacation. I did not know this was a thing. I've got eight days to use up. So I decided to go to Breezy Town, and I can also bring the gym staff along as well. And I find myself in Breezy, and I, I didn't know you could take vacation days. And I'm like, oh my god, I obviously have to go to one of these places. Lieutenant Sir just pops along, he doesn't even use his feet, he just kind of glides along, just floats, levitates, whatever, and just off the screen, I thought it was quite funny. Um, and then the gym guy's like, yeah, I'm going to have a nice chat with some of the locals, and I'll see you later. And I, I'm just going to just explore this city now and try and find something that I need to uh, to do to try and make the next thing happen in my game. And also, I get a bicycle out of nowhere, I don't even know what's going on here. Anyway, we talk to these guys here, and, and then after this, I go over to the right, and I find an experiment ball. And I think to myself, okay, this has got to have something to do with the with the game, surely. I go over to the experiment ball. It says it works as good as a great ball. I like the design of it. It looks pretty nice. But I talked to this guy and he says only professionals pass this point. So I actually can't go to a load of different locations in this city. And I'm just struggling like on what I actually have to do. Because I cannot find like how to get to gym leader rank level 5. And my team's getting quite high leveled as well. I also find this guy who sells rare candies. And I think to myself, I've got 589k. I'm going to just spend it all on rare candies because then I won't have to ever fight the Blissey girl again because I'll be able to get like 10 levels on everybody, which is really, really useful. Talk to this guy, but he's just saying, tell me to enjoy my stay. And uh, there's not really too much else I can do. Like, I've literally explored this whole town and there's absolutely nothing. There's also this trapped item here, which I just thought was a little bit of a glitch. But either way, I couldn't get that. After that, I just start elevating all my Pokemon up to like mid-level 75s. And I'm getting to the point now where I think... The last person that I battled, like, part of the story was level 40. My team are now going to be, like, level 75s. And so I think that there must be a battle coming up that's, like, level 100s or something. Because nothing has happened for absolutely ages. And so I'm a little bit worried. I'm thinking that I might actually need to get even higher leveled here. So uh, either way, I just grind up everybody to level 75 because it's just a really nice level to have. And, 
You know, I think I can pretty much take on anybody. I'm trying to learn, like, Boom Burst and stuff, all these different levels on my team. Um, I also still don't learn Earthquake on Garchomp, which is also very annoying because I thought it learned it through level up, but apparently it doesn't. But either way, I literally just spend the day just grinding up my team, um, not learning any of these random levels and stuff. And, uh, yeah, my team now is in tip-top shape. They are looking powerful. They're all pretty much pseudo-legendary Pokemon. Uh, I've got Charizard as well, which is not a Dragon type, but I can still put on my team, feeling a little bit like Lance. Um, and then I finished the vacation, literally spent eight days here, did nothing, just bought a bunch of rare candies there. Their revenue's up through the roof. Um, and then after that, it just says I should get some rest when I get back home. So I just think to myself, like, is the game glitched? Like, what do I have to do um, to actually, like, get through this uh, kind of game or get to, like, level five? Because there's eight gym badges on my trainer card or, like, eight gym levels. So I just think to myself, there must be something that I'm missing. So I just go on and sp speak to more locals. And there's just a ton of characters that I didn't speak to throughout the whole game, like, at all. Like, this woman here selling you, like, lockets and stuff. Um, I go up and speak to this girl here, and she's basically saying that she's got a flower that only grows in the Badlands, and she'd love to see it. And then I'm like, all right, I can go do that. And then I realized I found it. I don't remember finding this item for shaming, but either way, I found it at some point, and then she just becomes a gym trainer in my team. Um, and then it's straight back to the gym. I'm taking on these level 99 Tyranitars again. I lost this battle last time, but now my levels are like mid-75. I feel like I can take this guy out. Um, he's going for stone edges and stuff and all this. Like, this guy... He must give me like a ton of reputation or something for being him because level 99 is just, it's just so randomly placed in the game. Like everything else you take on is like level 50 and then there's just a level 99 Tyranitar. It makes absolutely no sense. So I just do my tactic. I come in with Garchomp. I just bulldoze. It should work because theoretically it's the same Pokemon. It's just a higher level. But now my high level, now my Mon's are higher leveled as well. It shouldn't be that difficult to take out this Tyranitar. And Bulldoze itself nearly actually takes it out, um, which I was really, really happy about. But of course, because of the speed drops, I can come in with Komowo and just take it out with a close combat. And I finally beat this guy. Um, and I didn't know if this was part of the story either. I just didn't know like what was going on really because I just wanted to get through uh, get through the game. And I, I was just a little bit stuck at this point. Uh, luckily, I do find the answer later on, but it, it was a little bit silly to be fair because it, it should have been something that I figured out a long time ago. Anyway, I do get another thousand reputation. And I'm just thinking to myself, if it is about reputation, then I, I must be close because every time I bite that, beat that hiker, I get a thousand. Anyway, though, I finally figure out the problem. It's because the game that I have has a bug in it. I'm using the newest update, and apparently it doesn't actually make this thing happen. So I got the previous update, and straight away the next day, Lance, the champion of the region, comes down to my gym to see what I'm like. And so, basically, if you're playing Pokemon this gym of mine and you've got the latest version and for whatever reason the champion is not spawning, it's because of that. There's just a bug in the latest version. I don't know the last time it was updated, but you basically have to get the previous, uh, the, like the previous version of this game. Otherwise, this, this won't happen and you'll just be forever just stuck in the game and so i'm a little bit annoyed now because i'm level 75 and the battle is like level 50 and this is the champion as well and i'm easily just destroying this guy with my team because i'm just so over leveled because i had nothing else to do with my team than just constantly beat the gym and then rear candy up my team because i thought to myself that some big battle was on the way unfortunately there wasn't though so i'm just kind of destroying his team like yeah he's the champion but you know i've been in this town for days and days and days like i've spent i think more than 100 extra days now in this game just the amount of time i was spending battling the gym and just getting reputation up and, and stuff like that and it's because there was like two other vacation places you can go to as well so i went there and spent like another eight days in all of those just trying to find what to do and all it was was that the game wasn't updated so it was really annoying but as you can see i just one shot his whole team it's like not a problem at all like i'm 25 levels above and i'm a garchomp like obviously i'm going to just sweep his whole team so it's not a problem at all uh champion garrison gives me 6500 for winning which was really nice reputation goes up by a thousand uh my my reputation is way too high right now which is why once i kind of installed the new ver like the the old version everything just happens constantly every single day so then i go up to level five on my gym reputation and i go and sleep the next day um and then of course the next thing happens and i get a letter and it says meet me in the gym tell nobody so i go to the gym and then this dude just pops up and this guy is looking a little bit shady. He's just telling me about like what kind of gym leader am I going to be. And so he has to test me. So I have to battle him. Of course, if I if this thing activated when it should have done, I would have been on all right levels. But because it didn't, I'm still 25 levels above everything. Completely forgot the Wigglytuff with a fairy type. So I'm going with a Dragon Claw. And Player of actually does a lot of damage to me. Um, which was a little bit unfortunate. He also like sings me to sleep or anything like that. This, this battle actually was difficult. Just because of like the sheer stupidity of me. 
Like, I was, like, obviously, I can see how many potions I've bought and stuff. Like, just the amount of days I've been in here just buying things I just don't need. Um, that was just to give to, like, the, 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 the charity and everything as well. Anyway, though, I take out the Wigglytuff um, just because of the annoying Sing and the player offs and stuff like that. The rest of his team I can easily one-shot. Like, he's just bringing it. Like, they've got good teams. Like, if this event happened when it should have done, like, it would have been a really, really good thing. Um, but again, it's just a problem that I'm just so high leveled now. So I'm just one-shotting his whole team. Which again, it's nice to be progressing in the story. But at the same time, it would have been nice to not... Like, I don't want the game to be too easy. You know, I've spent all this time in this game. And I can't go back and reset my save file. Because the last time I saved, I still had like level 75s and stuff. So I can't really do anything about it. Because I saved every now and again when I was just playing through the game regardless. But either way, he sends in an Eevee and then he sends in Staraptor. Uh, but as you can see, it's just quick work for Garchomp. Can just literally one-shot his whole team. Uh, the Straptor does survive on a little bit of HP and also double teams, which is a little bit annoying. Goes for a close combat, but as you can see, it just does nothing to me. Um, I'm just so over-leveled. I'm 25 levels above. And again, I'm a pseudo-legendary. So anyway, I take this guy out, and he's basically saying that I did good, and now he's got someone to tell me. And then Sandy comes through the gym. I can't remember who she is, but anyway, she just pops in uh, and basically just tells me about the situation. I then have to go back to the gym because she wants to meet me there. And then she said that the mayor wanted to tell you congratulations. I'm now level 7. I don't remember going to level 6. I don't know what time that was. But either way, I'm level 7 now. Um, and then she's basically saying that um, there's, you know, these actions from the gym leaders have consequences and stuff like that. And that the police are going to be involved and all this and that. And I've got to make the right decision. The previous gym leader, Jason, didn't. And we're not worried about him any now or something anymore or anything like that. Uh, and she's just saying, what should she do? So I decided to warn the gym trainers and the stuff about the police because, again, something's happening. Uh, and then the gym guide comes in and he's like, bro, I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't having a go at you, but something's happening. And he's telling me to go um, to this like location where this this person is, this like interesting secret person that's apparently the evil guy. Um, and he's like the Rogue Riders hideout. So I've got to go all the way back there where obviously I lost to Edgar. So I find my way back at the Rogue Riders hideout and Edgar's actually the front of the cave. And he's basically saying like, look, that mirror of yours. He's a bit of a dick. You know, there's red flags all over the place about him. You shouldn't trust him. He's a bad guy and he's evil. And and I'm just thinking back like, I didn't even notice that once to be fair. I barely spoke to the mayor in this whole game. Like I spoke to him at the start and then that was it. But anyway, I go up to the, the mayor and he's actually the evil guy. He's just in the Rogue Riders hideout. And he is the evil guy, the final boss of Pokemon, this gym of mine. And he's just talking about how gym leaders are, you know, useless or whatever. I don't know. He's pissed off or something. I don't even know, really. And then Edgar goes up and just gets Falcon punched to the side. The, the mayor literally just RKO's him. And he's just like, get my sight. And I have to fight the mayor. The final battle, he's got Blaine Sprite, which is pretty cool. And he sends out a level 52 Dusclops. And I just think to myself, this would have been so much better if I wasn't ridiculously overleveled. I crunch though, and it doesn't actually kill. And he loves a toxic stall, this guy. Absolutely loves a toxic stall. Starts max potion and stuff like that. I'm just crunching and just getting more damage off on this thing. But he just keeps healing. He is literally just toxic stalling my whole team right now. Like, that's what he's doing. He toxics, and then because he's the mayor, he has a ton of potions that he can just keep using. And this toxic is actually slowly dwindling me down. So I'm thinking to myself, bro, I'm actually going to lose this. Uh, I've got no full restores. I've got no way to, like, um, heal myself, really. But then, luckily, I had a Lumberry in my bag, so I used that. And then he has Confuser as well. Dude, this guy is so annoying uh, already. And it's only his first Pokemon, so I'm like, finally, God, that Dusclops finally died. I'm level 76 now, and he wants to send in a Gudra. And obviously, I can't stay in here with Garchomp because I'm confused and stuff. So I decided to go into uh, Dragapult and just hit it with some Dragon Darts. I feel like I haven't even used Dragapult much um, in this video. But either way, Dragon Darts just one-shots the Gudra. Obviously, I'm so high-leveled. Um, so I take out the, the, the Gudra. He then comes in with a, uh, a Dragonite of himself, uh, with himself. And I'm thinking, okay, I can take this out. There's a lot of Dragon-type uh, trainers in this game. So I'm quite happy that I used Dragon as my um, typing. Because I feel like if I used like Fire or Water or Grass or something, it could have been a little bit trickier. Um, but anyway, I take out the Dragonite. He then wants to send in a Scizor. Luckily, I do have my Charizard. It was a little bit annoying of how long, how much time I wasted grinding Charmander up to Charizard. Because I did all that and then nothing happened. And then obviously then I had to realize that it was because I didn't have the latest... Uh, the I had the latest patch, which was the problem. But anyway, I take the Scizor out very easily with Flamethrower. He then has a Rhydon, which is pretty cool. I think myself, I don't really have much for that. But then I'm like, oh wait, I got a Garchomp. Who still does not have Earthquake, by the way. I've been bulldozing since the start of this game, honestly. So, uh, yeah, he sends out the Rhydon. Didn't know if this thing could learn, like, an Ice-type attack or anything. Um, but, obviously, I get the Bulldoze off. He has Earthquake. Just rubbing it in that I don't have it. Just rubbing in the fact that I don't have Earthquake. Love it from him. Um, anyway, take out the Rhydon. And then his last Mon is an Aegislash. So, again, his team is really, really good. 
Uh, it's just, like I say, if, if I battled him when I should have, it would have been a really, really tricky battle. But anyway, I take out the Aegis Slash and I've beaten the Mir. It gives me 8,400 for winning. My reputation goes up by 1,000. He can't believe it. Edgar's woke up again and he's just there, you know, talking smack in the background. Uh, he's just got like a monologue or something that he's going through. Just saying that me and Edgar are like good guys and we're striving for our communities and stuff. And he's like, call the police. I'm like, all right, bro, I'll dial those digits. He's speaking to the other like members of his group saying, look, you should have helped me out. And then I'm gym leader rank 8 and it's over. That is the end of Pokemon, this gym of mine. And then the Pokemon League call me and they're saying thank you for going above and beyond and stuff. But there's literally nothing left to do. So that is Pokemon, this gym of mine. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment. See you next time.